And welcome back to Crandar's Adventures. Okay, let's see. I can't take this. Our first player written message. Now it's worth noting that you can't actually f write them freely. I've never actually even created a message myself, but from what I understand, you're given a menu. Of words and phrases you can pick from. So all you're really deciding is what message to uh, what pre-made message to choose and where to put it. Uh, what was I going to check? I want to check my stats on this shield. Physical 78%. So this is the percentage of damage that gets reduced if you block with it. And stability somehow reduces the stamina cost of blocking. I don't know what that number actually means. If it's a percentage or what. Let's try a jump attack. And stuff makes me thirsty. See you guys there. Now, something I really enjoy in this game is the level design. Combat's really fun too, but the level design is very impressive. Plus, they have really nice little touches. Like, uh, if you look down here, that little alleyway down there, that's an actual area you go to later. Not for a while, though. But, I'll be down there eventually later. Even though it's kind of considered to be like a different zone. So the game is really good about that sort of thing. Whenever they have an area that, where it's... There's another zone nearby that you can see from where you are. <laughs> Death ahead. Yep. Then you can always look down into it and see it. There's no real loading screens that load you into a new zone unless you're doing a teleport for some reason. Like this night of it teleports you back to the last bonfire you used. That'll cause a loading screen. But walking from zone to zone does not. So you always have that full um, full visibility to everything. I like how you just smash things by rolling into them. It's kind of funny. Now I'll show you a bit uh, why I was talking about having a dex build. Okay, parameter bonus and required parameters. So the hand is dexterity, the flexing arm is strength. So I need to have at least 12 dexterity to use this knife and I have B grade bonus based on dexterity when I'm using it. Which is why I'm getting the plus 11 damage to it right now. So by having a dex heavy build I'll be able to use the dexterity requiring... Hello! Well, that just happened. Try wings. Yeah, I'll be able to use the dexterity have requiring weapons and get a lot of damage bonus out of them. So things like knives, uh, spears, curved swords like falchions and scimitars. Come on, come on, hit me! Ow. So it showed a um, <coughs> parameter bonus of E for strength on this dagger as well, so 
Raising my strength would help me do more damage with my dagger, but it won't help as much as a high dexterity will. Now I want to check that short sword. It's got a bigger base damage. But... The perimeter bones isn't as high. Still getting more damage from it overall, though. So I think I will go ahead and equip that. I think I will bump my strength to at least 10 anyway. I'm not going to go crazy with it, but I don't want to completely neglect it either. Okay. Actually, one thing I'm curious about, though, is this shows an auxiliary effect, which I think that's bleed. Let's get the help menu up here. Yeah. Let me try something. This thing implies that there's a, a bleed effect with this knife. Now as you can see these enemies are back. Whenever you use a bonfire, or if you die and re respawn at a bonfire, everything you've killed respawns, uh, with a few ex exceptions like some unique enemies and bosses. Are you gonna... do you bleed? No. The knife does not make you bleed. So I don't know why it lists... bleed on it, unless that means that if I somehow... get a bleed effect <coughs> onto it... Uh, I don't know if I can though. You can in the second game, but I don't think you can in this one. Oh, wait a second. I seem to be slower. 13 out of 52. That's above 25%, isn't it? Just slightly. So I'm going to have to go back to the dagger anyway. <coughs> until I get my endurance up. <coughs> or, actually no, wait, I've got a better idea. Yeah, let's just take off the hood. There we go. There's that hair. What a handsome zombie. There we go. Back to full speed. Also, there's, uh, there's some goodies I can get over here. If I jump down, no, if I jump over, I should say. I don't know why this one's in the air. Let there be light. I don't get it. I don't get it! What are you talking about? No, I can't do the jump from here. Oh yeah, I forgot about you. Stab. Refreshing Estus. I don't know what Estus is. But I do know that it is delicious. Yeah, let's come over here and meet our first merchant. Kick. 
I'm a thief. I'm supposed to play dirty. Ow. F your boxes. Huh, weakness. Beating to a pulp. Yes, that's most people's weakness. Hey, buddy. Well, now. You seem to have your wits about you. Hmm? Then you are a will. I like your red customer. eyes, buddy. I trade for souls. Everything's for sale. <laughs> yeah, you sound sane. Okay. Don't really want any of these things. This could be useful, this key, except for the fact that I've got the master key as a thief, so I don't need it. Master key doesn't work on everything, by the way, but it does work on the things that this key will work on. Undead Brig is where we are now, by the way. If you hadn't noticed. Now, a scimitar would be real nice. Or maybe a rapier. Rapier, I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, let's compare some stats. Spear. Don't have the required strength for spear. Oh, excuse me. Although I'm only one point off. But these guys. 80 plus 15. That's cool. It's very close to what I'm at. It's a bit better than what I'm at. Plus the parameter bonus is better. Oops. Uh, arrows and some armor, but... I don't need the armor right now. Okay, I'm going to take the, the scimitar. Thank you kindly. <laughs> yeah, okay. Creepy laugh. Okay. Also, half a pound lighter. So, can't argue with that. Now, let's compare these shields. Oh, wow, that is better in absolutely every way. So let's switch over. Or at least every way I care about. I don't think it's as good against fire, but I usually just dodge stuff like fire. It's physical block and stability that I care about. Oh, and weight. It was better in all those respects. Nice. Fancy. Okay. Actually, what happens if I do double heavy? Ah, okay. Interesting. Let's see. I'll do a little bit of gathering items before I end this episode. Ow. Stamina back. Oh, ow. Nice. Now we can't open this yet, but that leads down to... That's a shortcut I can, I can open later that leads down to the area I was looking down at over that railing earlier. I think they call that area the depths, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I like the scimitar. It is a good weapon. And one thing you gotta keep in mind with these treasure chests is there are mimics in this game that will... If you open up a mimic chest, you are basically automatically dead. It will just pull you in and eat you. And do a ridiculous amount of damage to you. Come on, guys. Oh, you son of a bitch. You're fast. No! Don't kill me! Okay, here we go. Gotcha! 
So that residence key would have opened this. There aren't any mimics for a really long time though, so I'm not too worried about it right now. And there's a way to check for them later. You can you can hit the treasure chest with your weapon to test if it's a mimic or not. It is possible to destroy chests that way and destroy their contents. So you gotta be careful, but if you only hit it once, that won't smash it. But it will reveal a mimic, so it's a safe way to test. Okay. You learn to time that better. I say as I time it worse. Oh, come on! Okay, hang on. I need a couple seconds to breathe, chuck down a potion. Okay, that was my last dose until I go back to a fire. Come on. There we go. Okay, instead of doing a kick, I do a different move with this, I think. Yeah, do one of those. Oh, touch blood stain. How did this person die? Oh, you just faced these guys to straight up combat, didn't you? And you died pretty horribly. Okay. Oh, this guy's got a barrel. What's he gonna do with it? Very unfriendly things, apparently. Aha. Oh. Uh -huh. Be wary of trap, yes. It was a trap. Now down here, we've got this bastard. He will absolutely destroy me if I piss him off right now, so I'm gonna leave him alone. Plus the uh, item he's guarding is kind of pointless anyway. It's a ring that boosts your defense when you're really low on health, but it's not much point because when you're out that low on health, anything's gonna kill you one hit anymore anyways. Like one more hit, I mean. So, you know, not much point. Or just view? Question mark? Yeah, it's alright, I guess. Be wary of liar. No, it's not a gorgeous view. Stop telling people that. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the bonfire, level up, and end the episode here. Be wary of tail. That doesn't make any sense. Here. Alright. Thanks for the advice, I guess. Well, anyway. Oh, I've got one I got one point of humanity I can spend. Sometimes when you kill a bunch of guys in an area where the boss is still alive, you can get free humanity. So I might spend that. Just because why not? Uh what do I want? I want more endurance for now. Actually wait a second. That leaves me incredibly close to another level up, so I'm going to go kill a couple more guys and come back real quick. There we go. Then let's reverse hollowing, and then we'll call it a day. There we go. No more zombification for me. Alright. Thanks for watching, and we'll pick up from here next time. See you later.